Randy Wilkinson. I'm a furniture conservator with Fallon and Wilkinson, and we were charged with the conservation of this, this Baker High Boy uh, many years ago. And I'd like to uh, walk you through some of the interesting discoveries we found about the wood, and um, which led us to some really interesting um, perspectives that, that may lead to future scholarship. So the story is, is when we, the chest came in for conservation, this, the, the curatorial record said that the second degree wood was chestnut. And when I picked the drawer up, the first thing I noticed is it was very heavy. Chestnut is a very light wood, uh, light secondary wood used in Rhode Island furniture. What led me to believe that it wasn't chestnut is two things. First of all, I noticed that the, although the wood was ring porous, if I tip this up slightly, you'll see that you see these light bands, these light yellow lines. They're called marginal parenchyma lines. And um, that's more associated with tropical woods. So we have something that's very heavy, has marginal parenchyma like a tropical wood usually has. Not always, but usually has. And the third thing I noticed is that if we looked at the late wood uh, area of the, of the uh, growth ring, I could clearly see individual vessels. So with those three things, knowing what I know about the anatomy of chestnut, it led me to think that you really don't have chestnut at all. If it's not chestnut, what wood do I think it is? Well, interestingly enough, Benjamin Baker's account book exists. He buys something called Red Bay along with mahogany and maple and other woods. I was fortunate enough to get a sample so that we could compare the known sample of Red Bay to what we have in our object. When we got the sample of Red Bay, the first thing I noticed is that Red Bay is a diffuse porous wood. So it doesn't match the ring porous structure that the Benjamin Baker High Boy secondary wood has. So if it's not red bay, if it's not this diffuse porous wood, then really, what is it? Which leads us to our next question. If we can't tell from the physical anatomy, we have to go to the microscope and we have to go to microanalysis. Nicely enough, because these drawers have been pushed in and out of the high boy so many times, the dovetails on the back side are perfectly polished. And with a macro lens on a really good camera, I was able to take a picture of the dovetail and give Dr. Connors the view that he needs. So after I did that, Dr. Connors said to me, Brandy, what you're dealing with is something called Cedrella. And I said, really? Cedrella is cigar store cedar. You'll see it in cigar boxes. It's pencil cedar. And from all my years of woodworking, whenever I encounter Cedrella, it's very soft and it's very light and it's a diffuse porous wood, not ring porous like this is. Well, little did I know that citrella, um, depending on where it grows and how it grows, it can range from a, a, a ring porous wood to a diffuse porous wood, matches what we have, and it can be really soft, like the pencils or cigar box cedar, or it can be very dense. So what we had in reality, um, what we started out with, with somebody thinking was chestnut, uh, going to the historical document thinking we might have something called Red Bay, once we got it to the microscope and we used our, our wood anatomy, we determined that what we were looking at is a species of Cedrella or cigar box cedar. So what does this all mean with respect to Baker and his hide wood? Why did he use it as a secondary wood? Did he buy it as mahogany? and found out that when he started planing it, it really wasn't mahogany, and he had all this wood hanging around. And he said, well, I guess I'll just use it as a secondary wood. Um, Cedrella has a beautiful odor to it. So is this something that his client wanted a, a wood that was aromatic, that would help keep the bugs away? So are we using a, a cedar for that reason? The question would have been maybe, well, why wouldn't he have used native red cedar? that was very common here in Rhode Island and Connecticut. Um, the answer to that is it doesn't grow all that big, relatively speaking, and it's very knotty. This stuff grows tall and straight and it's beautiful and it works so much better. So, although we don't know exactly why Baker used Cedrella, it does raise the issue that other tropical woods, other woods were being used here in Newport besides the common secondaries of pine, poplar, and chestnut.